Now let's do another example here. Example two. Now we'll let f of x, y, z, so this time this is a function of three variable, equal 2x squared plus y squared plus 3z squared. So now f is a function from r3 to r. Okay, so our point that we get is x, y, z, and f of x, y, z. So this is a graph in four space. Now, we can't draw a graph in four space, but we can work with it algebraically. That's the whole idea. So now, when we take the set of points x, y, z, such that f of x, y, z is equal to a constant, we're going to get something like this. 2x squared plus y squared plus 3z squared equals some constant c, 5, 10, 15, radical 6, negative 9, whatever it is. This is an implicit relation among three variables. What this is, is an actual surface in three space. We had a function of two variables, a mapping from R2 to R. When we set that function equal to a constant, what we get is a curve in two space. Here we have a function of three variables, a mapping from R3 to R, when we set this function equal to a constant, what we end up getting is a surface in three space, a graph in three space, and that's the whole idea. So imagine, if you will, um, so let's just sort of see if we can draw what something like this looks like. So in this particular case, let's go ahead and take a, a slightly different function, make it a little bit more uniform, x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals c. So now I've just changed the coefficients to make them all 1, 1, 1. What you get, this is, you should recognize it, it's the equation of a sphere centered at the origin. So what you get are these spheres, these surfaces, these spheres, these shells of different radii, and those are called level surfaces. And these level surfaces are actually very, very, very important. So for a function of two variables, we call them level curves because it defines an implicit relation between the variables x and y when they're equal to some constant. And in three space, we call them level surfaces because they define some implicit relation among the three variables x, y, z. And they are places where the function is constant. That's the whole idea, where the, the value you spit out stays the same. And they end up being very, very important. Now, I'm going to 